Hello there, this is Ali here from All Saints Isleworth. Welcome to our time of prayer for Thursday the 18th of June. Today I'm going to be following night prayer from the app that you can download called Time to Pray. As we begin, let's have a moment of quiet. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. We come now to a short time of confession when we say sorry to God. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for evermore. Amen. Our psalm for tonight is Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, all my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel and the night watch he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. Give to us, Lord Christ, the fullness of grace, your presence and your very self, for you alone are our portion and our delight, now and for ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. One Peter chapter five verses eight and nine. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil is prowling around like a roaring lion, seeking for someone to devour. Resist him, strong in the faith. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. 
glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. We listen now to Simeon's song that he sang when he saw Jesus as a baby in the temple in Jerusalem. Luke chapter 2, verses 29 to 32. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. We're going to use each of those three verses now as the framework for our time of intercession. At the end of each section, I will say, Lord, in your mercy. And if you would like to, please respond with the words, hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Lord Jesus, we thank you that we can know peace. Because you were born as one of us, you died for us, rose again and restored us to relationship with God. We pray that this night and always we will know your peace at work in us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are the Prince of Peace, that you came to save all the world. And we pray now for Christian miss missionaries, wherever they are working, that they will share your love and your promise of eternal life with those nations in which they are working. We pray for ourselves too, in our Christian witness day by day. We pray that others will come to faith and trust in you because of what we share of your love at work in us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. A light to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Lord, we pray for all the nations of the world. We pray for leaders of nations, that they may know your light in the way that they serve their people. We pray for our own government and health advisors at this time, that you will give them wisdom to know how and when to release the lockdown under which we've been living. We pray that your light, Lord Jesus, your glory will shine in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Collect for tonight. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, 
give rest to the weary, sustain the dying, calm the suffering and pity the distress, all for your love's sake. O Christ our Redeemer. We join in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May God kindle in us the fire of his love. Amen. So that's the end of our night prayer for today. Thank you for joining us and do join us on our YouTube channel for other times of prayer and worship. Bye for now.